All right. So, shh. Looking at a problem like this, guys. Um, main important thing we want to do in a problem like this is we see different constraints. We see that there is under a radical. Anytime we have a radical, we know that constraint number one is looking. So we want to say 1 minus x has to be greater than or equal to 0. Right? The next thing is we see that we have a denominator. So we know that constraint number 2, or restriction number 2, is going to take, a play, take effect. OK? Now let's just go ahead and solve while we're paying attention, writing this down. Then divide by negative 1. And if you guys remember in your Algebra 1 class, whenever you flip the sign, or whenever you divide by negative, you have to make sure you flip the sign. OK? I shouldn't already know your name. So we already have x is going to be less than or equal to 1 in this case. Over here, we're going to go and solve for x. So we subtract 1 on both sides. x squared cannot equal negative 1. So there, take the square root. But again, guys, remember, we're looking for this is going to give you values that should not be in your domain, right? Whatever number we get here is not, cannot, cannot make us equal to 0. That's going to not be in our domain. Well, when we take the square root of a negative number, that, that's going to be i, right? So we can't have i in our, in our domain. Well, our domain is only all real numbers anyways. So this restriction is basically not going to be affecting this at all. Okay? We're not going to have to worry about any um, asymptotes or holes or any restriction here. You can just say it's like you know, undefined under real numbers. Okay. Over here, though, we're just leaving with x is greater than 1. So, so x has, I'm sorry, x has to be less than or equal to 1. So again, remember, we always do the smallest term first, right? So less than or equal to 1. So what's the smallest number that's less than 1? Negative infinity. And then we're going to go all the way to 1. 1 is um, less than or equal to, so that's going to be included. That's not included. Okay. Now, if you want to take a picture of the or take a look at what the graph